In this Marketing for Architects video, we are going to look at the two different types of marketing. You are going to discover how both of them work and which you should deploy for your business. After you go through this video, you will know exactly how to reach out to prospective clients. There are two basic approaches to marketing. There is branding and then there is direct response marketing. Branding is about getting people out there to remember your name. This is the kind of marketing that Nike, Coca-Cola and Apple engage in. Just think of the Nike check mark and just do it written underneath it. There is nothing else to that marketing. Response marketing however is about getting people to take action and buy. There is a lot more to this type of marketing. We have to bond with the reader and show them we understand them. We then have to make an offer which shows we can solve their problem. And finally there is always a call to action at the end, be that to hire us, to click on our ads or to give us their contact information. The reason it's called direct response marketing is because it's based on two key ideas that are very powerful together. The first is marketing directly to prospective clients and the second is asking for a response. Branding is indirect in that its intention isn't to generate an action now, it's to get brand awareness and familiarity. In professional sales a continuation is when you set up a follow up but don't actually make a sale. In marketing and sales a conversion is when your prospective client takes action, ideally hiring you for your architectural services. So we need to aim for conversion not continuation. Most people default to branding or getting their name out because it's the easy road. You never have to face direct rejection if you never ask for a sale which makes branding a very appealing route for most business owners. You can always blame someone else when you don't take personal responsibility for sales. It appeals to ego, status and the part that, that wants everyone to know who you are. Branding marketing is also extremely expensive and you'll go broke very quickly if you don't have deep pockets. Plus you can't measure its effectiveness in the terms of the number of new clients it generates. Direct response on the other hand is directly measurable and as a result you can track results and consistently make improvements over time, so its effectiveness increases. Response marketing has its roots in direct face to face selling. The best way to think about a good direct response marketing piece is to think of it like a real salesperson, only multiplied and automated. The techniques of direct response have been tried and tested and refined over a hundred plus years. It's now considered a science by the pros. It's a system. In person sales is the greatest paid research you can do. Most people are afraid of selling their services face to face. In fact it's the best possible research you can do for your business. You'll never learn more specific powerful things you can use in your marketing than when you sell. Most of us don't want to sell. When you ask about their fears and frustrations and then try and sell your services you will get to know what their objections are to hiring you. You can then preemptively address these objections in your marketing so they don't come up at all. Do what big successful companies did not what they do now. Don't imitate the big companies or assume that what they do will work for you. If you want to imitate them go back to when they began and do what they did and not what they are doing now. And what they did when they started was usually sales. Sales has gotten a bad name over the past several decades. Professional selling looks nothing like the manipulative hustling that we associate with the used car salesman. Professional selling is about discovering and developing needs then matching needs to solutions. Professional salespeople see the sales conversation as research into the prospective clients needs. An essential book to read on this is Spin Selling by Neil Rackham. Your first marketing should be in the spirit of direct sales. Don't aspire to have people know your name or be famous. Instead aspire to have people who have a need come to you to hire you. Instead of trying to become a famous brand, work to sell your services to one person at a time, then replicate this direct response system to grow. Appeal to the interest of your client, not your ego. Go for response and not recognition. The exercise for this video is all about becoming a direct response marketer. There are two fundamental approaches to marketing. The first is branding which is about getting your name out, becoming famous so that people have you top of mind. The second approach is called direct response marketing and is focused on finding individual prospective clients and triggering them to respond to your offer. It's critical that you develop your direct response marketing skills and develop the ability to sell your service one to one in any situation and in any niche or environment. So ask yourself, where have you become convinced that branding is synonymous with marketing? Where do you have a bias or prejudice against salespeople or marketers that you must overcome?
What will you have to do internally in order to begin finding prospects where they are and then asking them to hire you? Okay, now that we know what type of marketing we are to deploy, we can now turn our attention to educating our potential clients with our marketing. Nothing exudes credibility, trust and authority better than providing education for our prospects. And that's what we will look at in the next video. Also, if you want a written copy of these exercises, simply go to the relevant blog section of affluentarchitect.com or click on the link below which will bring you directly to the blog version of this video on the site. I'm Declan Connolly, founder of Affluent Architect and I'll see you in the next video.